After one full year of trying to get my hands on a brand new PlayStation 5, I have finally succeeded in my goal of getting one. But it did come at a heavy price of 765 euros. Because of the supply shortages, local stores in my country started bundling PlayStation 5s with three games. Hence the heavy price of 765 euros. So I didn't really have much of a choice if I wanted to get one. After playing through these games and getting to know the system a bit better, I decided to make a review. Let's start this review with the pros first. I really like the new SSD which loads games almost instantly. As someone who used to own a PlayStation 4, one of the most frustrating things were the loading screens that would take forever to load, but with the new PlayStation 5 SSD, that problem is solved. Another thing I liked was gaming on 4K with 60 frames per second. Now, most of the PlayStation 5 games give you option between performance and fidelity mode. Performance gives you 60 frames per second and dynamic 4K, while fidelity gives you 30 frames per second with native 4K and ray tracing features. Now, I usually play it on performance mode because I just love the buttery smooth 60 frames per second. And the new DualSense controller is so great. Haptic feedback is a great addition that immerses you into the world with its features. You can feel L2 and R2 buttons fighting back as you pull them. You can also hear enemy arrows flying past you if they miss you. As someone who never really liked PlayStation controllers, this really surprised me. I even started liking it more than Xbox controller. Now it's time for the cons. I did have a few issues with the console. First issue being that it would turn on and off by itself, which was really weird. I managed to fix the issue by disabling some HDMI settings. The second issue was with the HDR. I own a QLED 4K Samsung TV which has HDR. After enabling HDR, my TV would start making these weird flickering noises which were really annoying. I managed to fix this issue by putting 4K transfer rate to minus 2. And the last issue for me currently is lack of exclusive games. Yes, I know that we will get exclusives eventually, but apart from God of War Ragnarok which is coming out next year, most of the exclusives are gonna come out in 2022, which is two years from now. Oh, and there was also this issue. PlayStation 5, ladies and gentlemen, PlayStation 5. Let's talk games now. As I mentioned before, my PS5 came with three games. The first one I played was Spider-Man Miles Morales. The game was good and I liked Miles' new electric powers and story was well written but it was kinda short. It felt like I was playing DLC from the original game rather than a standalone game. Second game I played was Demon Souls. The remake of popular Demon Souls which made From Software industry giant it is today. It has stunning visuals and graphics, and the combat is, well, what you would expect from the people that make Dark Souls, Bloodborne and Sekiro. I must say, I couldn't be more hyped for Elden Ring when it comes out next year now. Now, the third game I got with my PlayStation 5 was Ratchet and Clank. Uh, I really tried to play this game, but I just couldn't. It felt like a kid's game to me, so I decided to play God of War again on 4K with 60 frames per second. It was really great. It felt like an entirely different experience with these overhauls. Playing through this great story again was awesome. Now, I wish that every game had these improvements with the frame rates and resolution, but unfortunately that is not the case. After God of War I tried playing Bloodborne and the game still suffers from the same issues it suffered from on PlayStation 4. Issues like 30 frames per second, uh, frame pacing issues and the game can get kind of laggy. Uh, PlayStation 5 does little to help to solve those issues. So yeah, right now there are no talks about this game getting a, a patch or a remaster I mean there are some rumors but it's nothing confirmed so yeah it wasn't a great experience I must say it felt kind of bad which was disappointing considering the PlayStation 5 has the horsepower to run this game on 4k and 60 frames per second 
that would be all for my review today. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe.